Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I have the pleasure of presenting you an absolutely beautiful 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS LS6. For anybody who doesn't know what an LS6 is, the LS6 was the highest horsepower option in a Chevelle in 1970 and of all Chevelles made. It was a 454 with 450 horsepower. They only made 4,475 LS6 Chevelles, so they are the holy grail of the Chevelle generation. This is my first LS6 uh, that I've ever owned. I'm very, very proud of this car. Um, I recently had this car certified by Jerry McNeish, who is the expert in the business. Uh, Jerry McNeish also is extremely experienced with Camaros, Novas, things of that nature. Uh, Jerry came up to the dealership uh, a week or two ago to actually do a full inspection and certification of this car, uh, which is documented with his report and also with this certificate of authenticity. Important uh, that people know that these cars often are cloned, replicated, uh, they're done fraudulently, um, but this is definitely a car that is the real deal. Uh, just to go over a couple things regarding documentation, besides Jerry's report, which is included with the car, we also have the original owner's manual. We have the original protector plate, shows the car being sold out of Atlanta, Georgia. We have two build sheets. These are authentic build sheets that Jerry has certified as authentic. Um, this build sheet, which is in beautiful condition, clearly spells out all the options this vehicle had, and it still has the cardboard that was in the door panel when the build sheet was taken off, which is really cool. This is the other build sheet here. They're duplicates. Having two build sheets with an LS6 is a really cool deal. Um, this is some of the ownership history. This car has pretty much limited ownership history. And then it has copies uh, that were provided uh, with the car um, with tons of information from the, when the car was bought new. And all this information here coincides with the information on the build sheets. These are uh, installment loan contracts from the original owners, uh, title applications, reassignments. Um, it just goes on and on and on. There's tons of copies of information here, which is always helpful when you're looking at a car like this. This particular car was the product of a complete rotisserie restoration. It is a absolutely stunning car. It's in magnificent condition. Um, the car was painted green. The forest green is a beautiful, beautiful color in a Chevelle. Um, the color is complemented with the white racing stripes. It's exactly how the car was born from the factory. It also has this really, really nice green interior. This is more of a darker green interior. Um, it also has a green vinyl top. Again, that's a darker color vinyl top, which really, really makes this car uh, something special to look at. The body is extremely straight. Everything on the car has been restored to high quality. The paint job is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it has the correct style bias ply tires that we actually put on when we put the car through our service department. They look beautiful. This interior is in like new condition. The headliner is beautiful, all the sun visors, the dash pad, all of the entire uh, gauge deal here, um, all the heating instruments, uh, steering wheel, the shifter, the carpets, the door panels, the whole interior of this car is in beautiful like new condition. The engine compartment is also highly detailed. It's very correct. Uh, it only has a few uh, parts that are reproduction parts or parts that aren't 100% correct. So it's a really, really nicely detailed engine bay. Um, the engine that's in this particular car is a date-coded uh, 1970 uh, 454, 450 horse uh, engine that coincides with the build date on the car. Because at some point uh, the engine was re-stamped, it's hard to determine whether or not this was the engine that this car was born with. Probably not. Uh, Jerry said it's inconclusive, but it is definitely a date-coded, legitimate LS6 motor. Uh, a lot of these cars were raced uh, early on in their day. This car might have fallen into that category because it also has um, a four-speed transmission, which is really cool. But like the engine, the transmission is a correct 1970 uh, four-speed transmission uh, for a Chevelle, but it was also... Uh, been stamped as well, which, which is a re-stamp, 
Um, so the odds are back in the day that the engine, the transmission were uh, used and abused and, and tossed and then somebody wanted to make sure that they put in the correct uh, setup and so forth. But this is one of the best uh, running Chevelles I have ever owned. Matter of fact, prior to this video, we normally like to start the cars and let them warm up for a minute or two. Prior to this video here, um, I actually started the car. It starts the second the key's on. Um, it doesn't really require hardly any warm-up time. So I literally let it warm up for maybe 10 seconds before I shut it off. So when I start it now, when you hear it run, that is literally after seconds of just starting it. I also had the pleasure of driving this car on a couple of occasions. It is an absolutely magnificent car to drive. It handles amazing, it runs amazing, it looks great. Just a Chevelle that I'm super proud of. Uh, the undercarriage of this car is also mirror quality. It's highly detailed underneath. Um, for a complete description with tons of photos, check it out on our website at msclassiccars.com. I'm going to go ahead and start it now, let you listen to how beautiful it runs. See how instantly that car starts? It almost starts before the keys in the on position. It runs so awesome. 